Hi, my name is Richard Isaacson. I'm director of the Alzheimer's Prevention Clinic at Weill Cornell Medicine in New York Presbyterian. Today, we're gonna to be talking about endpoints in Alzheimer's disease clinical trials. Let's talk about one of the newer Alzheimer's disease endpoints called the Alzheimer's disease composite score or the AD composite score, or more commonly known as the ADCOMS. The ADCOMS is a compositive cognitive and functional endpoint that combines elements from several different common endpoints that we've probably all heard about. These three include the CDR sum of boxes or uh, this clinical dementia rating scale sum of boxes. It also includes the ADAS-COG, which is the Alzheimer's disease assessment scale cognitive subset, components of that. And finally, it also includes components of the MMSE or the mini mental status, uh, sorry, the mini mental state exam. What are the items and how did this all come about? Well, certainly um, we've learned in several clinical trials that um, different cognitive domains may um, really change in different ways um, when it comes to the trajectory of the disease. And if we can kind of take a greatest hits approach in which of the cognitive domains or which areas on specific tests are more likely to change over time and be more responsive to change with a drug or a treatment, um, what this ADCOMS does is it uses this composite approach at three commonly used assessments and puts it all together based on very specific coefficient weighting um, on how impactful that specific test is um, on moving the needle in an Alzheimer's clinical trial. So in summary, what the uh, investigators did was they took the ADAS-COG, certain parts of that, including the delayed word recall, orientation, word recognition, and word finding difficulty. They also took two parts to the mini mental, including orientation time and drawing. And then finally, they used uh, the CDR sum of boxes, which included all six domains, personal care, community affairs, home and hobbies, judgment and problem solving, memory and orientation. So clearly this score is heavily weighted on the CDR sum of box uh, uh, domains. However, it also includes these other important domains. The total score ranges can be from zero to 1.97. And again, the coefficient, the individual coefficient or contributions are cumulative and added up uh, to potentially score as high as 1.97 versus as low as zero. Um, the advantage of this test is kind of like we just said, sensitivity to clinical change. Um, and it's not only sensitive to clinical change, but it's more sensitive in the earliest phases. For example, mild cognitive impairment, the pre-dementia phase of Alzheimer's, prodromal Alzheimer's disease dementia. And it's been reported to be improved with ADCOMS compared to each of the individual tests, whether you use CDR sum of box by itself, ADAS-COG or MMSE individually, this battery, this greatest hits approach um, is something from a statistical perspective and a, a clinical trial perspective to be uh, more um, helpful, more valid and more meaningful. When it comes to limitations, um, the key component, the ADAS-COG is not commonly done in clinical practice. So even though this uh, measure and this battery is great, um, and I believe it's actually uh, quite relevant and, and quite helpful um, the problem is, is that uh, the ADAS-COG isn't done in clinical practice, so you either have to um, perform it to do the ADCOMS in, in practice, or you can just perform the subtests that are included. Um, also, the uh, limitations of the ADCOMS is this is heavily weighted towards orientation. Actually, the orientation measures from all three tests are included. So if a person has trouble with orientation versus a, problem, versus a person understands uh, their orientation better, then the scale can really um, you know, change quite a bit. Um, so individuals um, may need to um, be thought about a little bit differently um, if someone has um, a great skill at orientation versus great trouble with orientation, but the rest of the cognitive domains may paint a different picture.